Squid Game Squid Game is a South Korean survival drama television series streaming on Netflix. It was written and directed by Wang dong Hyuk and stars Lee Young-jae, Park Ha-soo, Oh Young-soo, W.I. Ha-joon, Young ho Yeon, Hyo Sung-tae, Anupam Tripathu, and Kim Joo Ryu. The series was released worldwide on September 17, 2021, and distributed by Netflix. The show received overwhelmingly positive reviews, and within a week was one of Netflix's most watched programs in several regional markets. Sung Ji Ai Hun, a divorced and indebted chauffeur, is invited to play a series of children's games for a chance at a large cash price. Accepting the offer, he is taken to an unknown location and finds himself among 455 other players, all with similar large debts. The players are kept under watch at all times by masked guards in pink suits, with the games overseen by the front man. The players soon discover that losing in these games results in their death, though each death adds 100 million, approximately $84,000, to the grand prize. G.I. Hun allies with other players, including his childhood friend Cho Sang-woo, to try to survive the physical and psychological twists of the games. Episodes 1. Red Light, Green Light Sung Ji Hun is down on his luck, having accumulated enormous debts with loan sharks. While at a train station, he is asked by a well-dressed man to play a game of Dakji for money. After playing, the man gives Ji Hun a card, inviting him to play games with higher stakes. Ji Hun accepts and is taken, while unconscious, to a mysterious location with 455 other players who awaken in a dormitory and are identified by numbers on their clothes. The location is managed by mask staff and overseen by the front man, also masked. The players are all in similarly dire financial straits and will be given billions of won in prize money if they win six games over six days. G.I. Hun befriends player 001, an elderly man, and recognizes among the players Cho Sang-woo, a former classmate and businessman, and player 067, a pickpocket who stole his money. The first game is Red Light, Green Light, where those who lose are gunned down on the spot. Ji Hun, though terrified, is encouraged by Sang-woo to play, and is saved from falling by player 199. All three are able to complete the game. To Hell more than half the players were killed in the first game, and some survivors beg to leave. According to the third clause of the game's agreement, if the majority agree to end the games, all players will be sent home. The players vote, and player 001's deciding vote has all of them sent home safely. Upon returning, Ji Hun goes to the police but no one believes his story except Detective Wang Jun Ho, whose missing brother received the same card as Ji Hun. The game staff give the players the chance to resume playing, and many return, including Ji Hun, whose mother needs a medical procedure, Sang Wu, who is about to be arrested for financial fraud, player 001, who has terminal brain cancer, player 067, who wants to smuggle her parents out of North Korea, player 199, who attacked his employer for withholding wages, and player 101, a gangster on the run. Jun Ho secretly follows Ji Hun when he is picked up by the game staff. 3. The Man with the Umbrella Jun Ho hides among the mask staff as they travel to the game's island location. After waking up in the dorms, the players are more prepared and start forming alliances. Ji Hun, Sang Wu, Player 001, and Player 199 team up, and note that most players returned, including player 212, who was the first to beg to leave. Player 067 sneaks into the vents and observes staff workers in a kitchen. In the second game, the players are to pick a stamped shape out of a Dalgana. Sangwu identifies the game quickly, using information from player 067, but does not warn his teammates and picks the simplest shape for himself. G.I. Hun completes the game despite having the highest difficulty shape, an umbrella, by licking the honeycomb to melt it.
Player 212 helps Deoxa complete the game with a smuggled lighter. A player takes a higher rank staff member hostage before killing himself, the staff member is killed, and Jun Ho takes the new mask. 4 The man with the umbrella. Stick to the team. Player 111, a doctor, is given information of each game beforehand, and is working with a handful of staff to harvest organs from the dead players. He joins Deoxys team by offering game info. G.I. Hun realizes that Sangwoo could have helped their team in the previous game. The staff foment discord among the players and Deoxo kills another player, which only results in the prize money being increased. After lights out, a riot erupts and numerous players are killed. Player 067 joins G.I. Hun's team, who protect her from Deoxo's gang. When player 001 begs everyone to stop, the front man has the soldiers end the riot. G.I. Hun's team exchange names, player 199 is Ali Abdul, and player 067 is Kung Sae by Eok. Player 001, who has a brain tumor, seems to have trouble speaking and remembering his name. After lights out, the guard in the room next to Jun Ho coughs in Morse code. In the third game, players are told to form groups of 10. Deoxu, knowing that the upcoming game is tug of war, picks strong men and rejects player 212, Han Minyo, who has to join G.I. Hun's team of weaker players. 5. A Fair World G.I. Hun's team win their tug of war match using player 001 and Sangwoo's strategies, but most of them are unnerved at having to kill the opposing team. Expecting another riot, G.I. Hun's team builds a barricade, which Deoxu mocks until G.I. Hun points out that Deoxu's teammates have to turn on him sooner or later. That night G.I. Hun's teammates take turns on watch, but Deoxu's team does not attack. Jun Ho learns about the conspiracy with player 111 for black market organ harvesting, but the conspiracy ends when the front man catches them. Front man executes the remaining members of the conspiracy, including player 111, and has a facility-wide manhunt for Jun Ho. Jun Ho breaks into the front man's office and learns that the game has been running for over 30 years, and that his brother, Wang In Ho, was the winner in 2015. 6. Gan View Jun Ho secretly watches the front man receive a call, saying that all will be settled before the VIPs arrive. For the fourth game, players are told to peer up. Sangwoo is with Ali, G.I. Hun with player 001, and S.A.E. by Eok with player 240. As there are an odd number of players, Minyo is last woman standing and taken away. In the game, everyone is told to play a marble game of their choice against their partner, and whoever gets all their partner's marbles within 30 minutes will win. S.A.E. by Eok and player 240, Ji Young, agree to play a simple all-or-nothing game, but after talking about their lives Ji Young decides Sae by Eok has more to live for and lets her win. Sangwoo almost loses, but tricks Ali into giving up his marbles and wins. Ji Hun, about to lose a betting game to player 001, turns it around by using player 001's failing memory against him. Player 001 reveals that he knew that Ji Hun was tricking him the whole time despite his failing condition, but allows G.I. Hun to win anyway. Before being killed, player 001 tells G.I. Hun he is his Ganview, a trusted friend, and says that his name is O.I.L. Nam. 7 VIPs The players return to the dorm where Minyo is waiting, having been allowed to sit out the game. Player 069, who beat his wife in the marble game, dies by suicide. The VIPs arrive and are welcomed by the front man on behalf of his boss, the host. The VIPs are wealthy patrons who gamble on the games. Jun Ho takes a worker's place and one of the VIPs attempts to sexually assault him, but Jun Ho interrogates the VIP for info and escapes the island with a scuba kit. In the fifth game the players, in predetermined order, have 16 minutes to cross a bridge with panels of either tempered or normal glass. The players at the front die off as the panels are tested. When Deoxu gets to the front of the line, 
he refuses to move, Minyo grabs him and they fall together. With four players left, Sangwoo pushes player 017, killing him to reveal the last trick panel. G.I. Hun, Sangwoo and S.A.E. by Eo complete the game. 8 F.R.O. and T. Man. As finalists, G.I. Hun, Sangwoo, and S.A.E. by Eok are given a change of clothes and a fancy dinner. When the dinner is cleared, each is left a knife. After lights out, G.I. Hun asks S.A.E. by Eok that they team up against Sangwoo, but S.A.E. by Eok was injured in the Stepping Stones game and suggests that they promise to help each other's loved ones if they win the game instead. S.A.E. by Eok's injuries worsen and G.I. Hun runs to get help, but when the staff arrive S.A.E. by Eok is dead, Sangwoo took the opportunity to stab her when G.I. Hun was away. Jun Ho makes it onto another island and calls his chief, but the reception is poor. Front man and his soldiers hunt Jun Ho down, and front man reveals himself to be In Ho, Jun Ho's brother. In Ho shoots Jun Ho and lets him fall into the sea. 9-1 Lucky Day The sixth and final game is the squid game, with G.I. Hun on offense and Sangwoo on defense. G.I. Hun beats Sangwoo, but refuses to complete the game. He invokes the third clause to end the game, but Sangwoo stabs himself and asks G.I. Hun to use the prize money to help Sangwoo's mother. G.I. Hun returns home to find that his mother has died. A year later, G.I. Hun is still traumatized by his experience and has barely touched his prize money. One night he receives a gold game invitation card, and in answering it finds player 001, O.I.L. Nam, still alive but dying. I.L. Nam is one of the VIPs, the host, who C.O. ran the game alongside the front man, In Ho, and the mastermind behind the game's operation, which was made to entertain the bored super rich like himself. I.L. Nam explains that both the poverty-stricken and uber-wealthy lead monotonous lives and he was trying to find a way to derive enjoyment from life. He was also testing whether humanity had any innate goodness left in it, reminding G.I. Han that despite witnessing the bloodshed in the initial game, he and the other participants still returned and sacrificed each other's lives for the sake of earning the prize money for themselves. The specific games are based on I.L. Nam's childhood memories, and he decided to participate himself for nostalgia's sake. I.L. Nam asks G.I. Han to play one last game with him, another test to see if humanity has goodness left in it whether anyone will help a drunk man on the street before midnight, G.I. Han wins but I.L. Nam dies, though presumably not before he witnesses his loss. G.I. Han snaps out of his stupor and fulfills his promises, he gets S.A.E. by Eok's brother out of the orphanage and gives Sangwoo's mother his share of the prize money. G.I. Hun is about to leave the country to reconnect with his daughter, but on the way sees someone playing Dakji with the same game recruiter who invited him. G.I. Hun takes the man's card and calls the number, now determined to find out who they are.